Hello, today I would like to uh, make a video of how to adjust and calibrate the Philips PM2403 multimeter, which is uh, made in 1970s. And recently I dig it out from the basement. And uh, of course, uh, like any new meters, you need a calibrate first and uh, do an adjustment as needed. Check online, really did not find anything which helps. And I couldn't find any menu. Good things is uh, in the back of the meter. And uh, there's a simple instruction of how to adjust and the calibrations the meter. And not quite easy to understand, so that's why I make this video for you. So, I hope it's uh, focusing okay. So, the adjustment, the first things, it will be the adjust the uh, zero the needles. So, which shows in this position, you don't push any of those buttons. And uh, your needle should be point zero. Okay. The second steps, I'm not sure what that means, but it uh, adjust the uh, uh, in this meter. You adjust the needle in the middle. So when you do that, you have to push down the uh, DC voltage. Okay, then you see the meter here, it's right in the middle. If not, it has a left side, there's a knob you can adjust. Sorry for the, uh, uh, the lightings. Okay, so since I already did so I don't have to do it. But I can move the needle and move the knob, you can see the needle move. So now it's towards the middle. And the third one, the steps, will be battery check. And uh, basically, with the DC push down, now you push the battery. Okay, so it should be in the, the wrench here, which will be fine. And the step 4D, which is uh, the reference plus batteries, I think it's uh, the meter itself have a two 9 volt batteries plus a uh, type C 1.5. So now you push down this button and uh, will give you readings. So I know my uh, non wolf battery is kind of low and uh, probably average is 7.6 watts plus 1.5. So now it's up to 9. Okay, it's still inside the range, so it's okay. So now we do calibrations. So Basically, I think what it means in the E, the meter uh, instruction here in the E is you push here and you read the number. Okay, so here is a little bit over 9, as you can see. Then, the next step, F. Then you push the calibration button here, and they both should read the same. If not, there's a tiny hole here, calibration, you do need to adjust it. Okay, so we did all this. The last step is uh, uh, adjust the ohm resistance without connect anything. The resistance, when you push down the bottom resistance, it should be adjusted to the 
right side knob here to the infinity so let's see how it goes okay it is in the infinity okay so since i already did otherwise you move this number i mean the knob you have to see it's not calibrate right so so and uh, after that you did all the calibrations and adjustment and then you can turn the meter off i think that the process really don't care the position of this knob where you put it doesn't really doesn't matter all right hope this show video help you thank you